don't see. This is cute. Get a little, you know, cover now. Okay, I'm about to release three of these in a row. So, let's get on with it. Is it seriously already Monday? I need to go make another cup of tea. Jeez. After my trip to the social service office in the Gray Hotel, it was a pretty quiet weekend I did my homework surprisingly worked a couple of shifts but there was nothing exciting it's Monday morning and it's time for another day in my own personal hell I, I will be on touch that mm. sorry I'm starting to look more and more like a GPA model student uh, a gap model sloop model with each passing day. I don't know why I'm just thinking, you know, whatever. Rose girl. Oh, shit. Damn it, Dove. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry. What are you so jumpy about this morning? <laughs> I'm not jumpy. I just didn't expect to see you in the kitchen dressed on time and silent. <laughs> Very funny. So are you all packed? Packed for what? Didn't anyone tell you? Tell me about what? <laughs> the the semi-annual school trip. This year, the student body chose Cape May as the destination. We're going to New Jersey? It's a cute little town right on the ocean. You're going to love it. How long do we have to be there for? It's a three-day trip. There's boating, camping, the beach, and you'll all be staying in tents or cabins. Bitch, I'm staying in a cabin. I'm not staying in a motherfucking tent, girl. It's going to be so exciting. I've been looking forward to this trip since la since last year. Last school year, anyway. Wait a minute. You're coming, too? Well, of course, sweetie. I'm one of the chaperones. Me and Headmaster Charles, of course. Ugh. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I'm not joking. And since you had no idea about this trip, I'm guessing you're not packed. <laughs> Go get packed. And we have to leave in 10 minutes. Change change out of your uniform. You're not going to need to wear that. You cracking up, girl. I find it real funny how bitch we live together and you ain't mentioned this shit all weekend. <laughs> Why the hell are we going to Cape May in the beginning of the school year? I don't get private schools. But since I don't need to wear this uniform, bitch, let's see what's popping. Oh, this is cute and casual. Nah, try something else. Let's say it. Let's say it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, girl, no. No, you're not. You're not feeling that. Fuck you, man. Yes, we're wearing this. This works. Um, let's see. Let's go. We have to be at the train station in six minutes. We're taking a train? Could this ship get any more private school? <laughs> right. No, no damn school trip taking a damn train, bitch. Okay, what the hell? Oh, okay, well. <clears throat> nice of the two of you to join us this morning. You know what, bitch? I'm sorry you won't happen again. I was really hoping that you, t you two living together would prompt you two to be on time. That was not his secret to tell everyone. What an asshole. I didn't want everyone knowing yet. I could see Rose's eyes dart directly to me. She was trying to assure me that everything was going to be okay. I didn't care. I was too pissed. It, cuss him out! 
fuck? Bitch, type of fucking principal you are, honey. Fucking headmaster. Bitch, you ain't shit but a principal, ho. Anyway, <laughs> now that we can finally get started, it's time to go over a bunch of ground rules for this trip. This is not a vacation for you. Who is it a vacation for then, girl? This is a trip for learning and learning only. Oh, girl, bruh. Yes, Hannah. What exactly is it to learn in Cape May? The only thing to study there is how long you you lay in the sun before you have to flip over. You know, to avoid burning. This trip is just like every every year. It's supposed to teach you skills on team building and leadership. We expect greatness out of each and every one of you. And I believe that these trips can teach you important life skills. Bitch, please. You're just trying to go out and have you a little vacation on the damn school dime, bitch. We will be working in teams and you all will get to know your classmates very well. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And Rita, you have, you have a question. <laughs> What the? I got a, I got a question. Who make up these fucking names? <laughs> I was wondering. Well, I was just wondering what is the sleeping situation going to be like. I'm not really into sleeping in a tent. Me neither, bitch. I've been over this at least three times. The girls will be sleeping in the cabins, and the boys will be sleeping in the tents down by the beach. Oh, don't complain. Y'all real bougie, girl. There will be a curfew for everyone. Lights out at 10 o'clock. Bitch. Um, you, you will upbring an early for the day activities. And if you're not on time, there will be consequences. All right, roll your eyes. Any questions? No? No more questions? Good. Train leaves in 10 minutes. Is this going to be... In, wait, this is going to be interesting. Tell me about it. This stupid trip happens twice a year. And every year is more irrelevant than the next. What? You're not looking forward to hanging out in the cabin? What What about poor Ma oh, Mark's over here? Max. Max. That has to sleep in a tent. Mm, no way. I'm not sleeping in a tent. Bitch, yes you are. I'm definitely going to bunk with one of you. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to get that past Rose, baby. We didn't know you were Rose's foster kid. It wasn't exactly something I wanted to share with the world. Don't sweat it, Duff. It only makes you more unique. Which makes you ten times cooler. And therefore, I like you much better. Happy I could benefit you. <laughs> Happy you could benefit off my foster situation, right? Shit. Stop, booba. Get down. Um, we should get on the train. I'm definitely getting the window seat. Little boy, here. Um. Have you guys ever been to Cape May before? I'm pretty sure every person that lives in Philly has been to Cape. Well, been to the Cape. The Cape? Sounds like a fancy exclusive club. It kind of is. Every person in Cape May is rich and uptight. Um, they really do believe their own town is a little island. And there are no outsiders should be allowed. Great, another place to feel like an outsider. Don't worry about it. You've got um, Max and I to make you feel right at home. Who the hell is he? Oh, Sean. Hey, guys. Hey. How do you want? Hey, Dub, can I talk to you for a second? Um, sure. They're so going to fall in love. Dove? With Sean? She's way too smart for that. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't like him. I'm sorry. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to apologize for my dad. 
how he outed your whole foster situation. What was up with that? Why'd he have to out me like that? I didn't exactly want the whole student body to know that. He never thinks before he speaks. Or he's just, just trying to hurt me. Why do you think my dad... Well, why do you think my father would want to hurt you? He's not exactly my biggest fan, Sean. He just doesn't know you like that. Like, like I do. Well, bitch, who... What, bitch? Okay, okay. You think you know me? I like to think I do. <laughs> I'm so tired of him thinking he knows me and flirting with me when he has a girlfriend. Stay, stay calm. Look, Sean, you don't really know me at all. And you really need to stop flirting with me when your girlfriend is sitting in the next train car over. I just can't help myself when I'm around you. <laughs> Why you got his fist clenched? <laughs> I see his fucking chest like he in a fucking R&B music video. <laughs> well, you just need to figure it out. I really don't need to deal with the wrath of Jill on this trip. I don't think she's going to bother you much. She's been kind of distant lately. I wonder if it has anything to do with her being at the social service. Oh, no. Leave it alone. It's none of my goddamn business. I'm sorry. Well, who cares? You should go talk to her and figure out what's going on with her. She doesn't want to talk. Every time I ask her to hang, she's not interested. I don't think I've been to her house in over a month. That's strange, but it couldn't be. Oh, well, she probably got moved to a different foster home. Um, I'm sorry you're having trouble with Jill, Sean. But it's not exactly my problem. I know, I'm sorry. I have, I've put you in an awkward position. I just really want you to be in my life, duh. Well, friends, friends. I should get back to Yana and Max. Um, Max. I'll talk to you later. Welcome to your new home for the next three days. Damn, all of us in this one little baby ass cabin, bitch. Wait a minute. It looks really small, right? That's why you're all paired up. Okay, okay. It's more than one of these. Okay, girl, we got this. We got this. The person you're standing next to is your bunkmate for the next three days. All right. Oh, thank God I'm not with you. This person is going to be your partner in all things for the week. Whenever, whenever teams are picked, you and your partner need to be in the same team. You can all check out your room now. You have an hour of free time before we meet down at the boys' cap campsite. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, excuse me. Ready to check out our room? Can't wait to see what kind of red next <laughs> Hell no. Mm, not red neck sheets, bitch. Ouch, ouch, poopa. Ouch, poopa, you caught in my head. Well, this is cozy. I can already see a fantastic night sleep in our future. Bed looks like it's made out of hay. <laughs> mm. Yes, and there's only one pillow. Dibs, so not fair. You snooze, you lose, Yana. Oh, this is going to be the longest three days ever. Well, three day trip ever. It doesn't have to be. What do you mean? I'm talking about having a party, huh? Are you sure that's a good idea? What about Rose or Charles? I'm not worried about Rose. She sleeps like a rock. <laughs> and the headmaster? Fuck him. We'll deal with that as it comes. How reassuring, Dove. Come on, y'all. Look, let your wild side out. I know you're dying to. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. You're you're going to be or you're going to have fun. Here. Don't be afraid to try something new once in a while. 
nothing great happens inside your comfort zone. You sound like one of the fortune cookies. Don't knock fortune cookies. You can learn something really val. You can learn some really valuable lessons from them. <laughs> I'm sure you can. You like that? Oh, come on. Let's head down to the beach. <laughs> I promise, um, Max. I what? Why did you do that? I don't, they, they, she promised Max something. Shit. Did they be down there as soon as they settled, I think? I don't know. Shit. Mm -hmm. I take back everything I said about our room. Me too. <laughs> I'd much rather sleep on the hay lump than the sand. We better get over there. They, they partners? How convenient. Nice place you got here, boys. You mean our one bed tent? You guys have to share a bed? Sean is like twice as... <gasps> Bruh. Go back. Please go back. Okay, whatever. Don't worry, man. I'd rather... I'd Take the floor if you rather. I don't know. I bought a sleeping bag just in case. No, it's fine. But if you fart in your sleep even one time, I won't. I swear. <laughs> well, you guys have a quite ex exciting night ahead of you. Um, How much better is your room than our tent? Let's just say I'm totally okay with sleeping on the bed made out of hay. Sean, did you did you just giggle? I may have. It was cute. No, the fuck it wasn't. Um, can I have your attention, please? Oh, Charles, what the hell you want? Miss Dixon has a few announcements she would like to make. Rose, then why would you call her Miss Dixon and call her Rose? Many of you have pointed out our sleeping arrangements. Uh, are much tighter th this year than they were last. Uh, there's a reason all for all this, for all the madness. We decided to use some of the money to put aside for this trip to pay for the North Philly Public School to come with us. What? We've been trying to find a way to get our schools connected to connect, and I thought this would be a great solution. Why would you think that would be a fucking great solution, bitch? We all have to work with people and we don't we don't always like. Why would you where the fuck they gonna sleep? That's all I wanna know. Where the fuck are they sleeping? Exactly. Anyways, I think this will be a great opportunity for all of you to connect with your community. Um they're coming by bus and should be here in the next few hours. We will schedule uh we will continue to schedule activities when they arrive. Where the fuck are they sleeping at? And that bitch that sent me to jail better not be there, bitch, because I'm liable to whoop her ass, okay? <laughs> until <laughs> until then, I will sign your, your teens, and you need to learn how to get along with them if you don't already. Bitch, please. <sighs> we will be adding public schools kids to each of your groups as they come in. Let's start with Sean and Mark. And Max. My bad. Um, you two will be paired with Dove and Yana. Okay. It has always come to my attention that there is an odd number of students coming to the, from the public from the public school. Therefore, Jill will also be added to your group. Huh? <sighs> what about me, Hannah? You will be in Group B. I hate Jill, bitch. Why couldn't they put Hannah in our group? A uh, great. I'm stuck with the losers. You will work with your group to come up with a team what a what a little with the team name and do and do some get to know you activities once your other members arrive. You may begin. Hey guys. Any ideas for the team name? Cuz I've got tons of them. I vote does come I vote Dove comes up with a team name. Uh why? You're the newest student to Ridgeview. It's only fair. 
Okay, I choose. What do you want this to see? Um, make sure you put the word. Well, it's team before, whatever. So, team. Okay, whatever. Let's see. Team who? Team. Suck ass, girl, because this team sucks ass let's see team blue okay let's see all right good two team blue sounds perfect to me really team blue is the best you could come up with yes bitch you really <laughs> wait like you really could have come up with anything better jill watch me i think team blue is the perfect name for us all right now nah, jill you mad bitch sure take her side like always Little Miss Foster girl needs to be protected at all costs. What did you just call me? You heard me. Um, I really want to slap her right now, but I don't want to cause a scene. We're going to save that slap for the bitch that I know that's coming. I may be a foster kid, but your boyfriend seems to like me more than you. Bitch. <laughs> Way to go, dog. <laughs> and bitch, you should have said... Whoa! Whoa! What did we just walk in on? Killian, Sierra. <laughs> Those are some fiery words coming out of your mouth, girly. <laughs> Sierra, what are you guys doing here? We were assigned to your team, pretty girl. Yay! I'm about to have a ball. Um. Well, welcome to Team Blue. We're a team of uh, verbal takedowns and awkward situations. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> I'm just glad the bitch that put me in jail ain't here, girl. I was not expecting Sierra and Buck and Killian ass to come. So, I'm good now. I'm good. I'm good. I should have slapped the bitch. Nah. Nah, I'm mad I didn't slap the bitch. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed.